Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is also busy rolling out the optional bug fix update for June 2023 for Windows 11 22H2, which is KB5027303, which was made available on the 27th of June. And this is exactly the same update I did post on about a week or so ago when it was still in preview and has now made its way down to the stable version of Windows 11 22H2. Now, what this update will also do is that it will also enable the new features and enhancements that started rolling out with this update, KB5026446, which was the optional update that rolled out at the end of May last month, which also included the third wave of new features for Windows 11 22H2, known as the Moment 3 update. So if you haven't received all or most um, of the uh, Moment 3 features, they should start becoming more widely available with this June 2023 bug fix update KB5027303 because for most users, the Moment 3 features have been gradually rolling out since the end of May. Now, um, something to take note of is the update is an optional update, which most of the updates that roll out near the end of every month are for Windows 10 and Windows 11. But if you have this toggle turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available, this optional update will then become an automatic update and will download and install automatically. So just take note of that. So if you don't want optional updates to download and be installed automatically, turn this off. Otherwise, leave it on and those optional updates that roll out at the end of every month will be downloaded and installed automatically. And as mentioned, this update does include KB5027303 does include uh, the third wave of new features, the Moment 3 feature update. And if you want any more info regarding Moment 3, I have posted a whole 12 minute plus video previously when it first rolled out where we take a step by step walkthrough as to the improvements and the new features as an example like seconds in the system tray clock. So um, if you want more info regarding Moment 3, go check out that video link in the description. Now this update also Although it does include the Moment 3 feature update, it also includes some of its own new features and improvements, which are mainly taking place behind the hood. Um, so just to go through those for the purpose of today's video. Um, first of all, the update expands the rollout of notification badging for Microsoft accounts on the Start menu. And then, then another new improvement is the update improves the sharing of a local file in File Explorer with Microsoft Outlook contacts. Apparently, Microsoft says uh, you now have the option to quickly email the file to yourself. And then some other new improvements that have also rolled out with this latest June bug fix update. Uh, it improves your computer's performance when you use a mouse that has a high report rate for gaming. So that's a nice mouse fix uh, for gamers. And then the update... Um, which also rolled out for Windows 10. The update addresses an issue that affects the on-screen keyboard. The issue uh, stops it from opening after you lock the machine. So that's very similar for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the update addresses an, uh, addresses an issue that might affect your computer when you are playing a game. Timeout detection and recovery errors might occur. So there are two gaming fixes already. The update addresses an issue that affects certain apps. In some instances, video flickering occurs. So that's quite an important fix. So if you have experienced any video flickering, uh, just make sure that this update is applied sooner than later. And the update addresses an issue that affects the file explorer. That's explorer.exe. Apparently, it stopped working. And this is also an important update because explorer.exe is basically the shell of your operating system. So that would be your file explorer your start menu, your taskbar, your notification center, and so on. So that's another important fix. And it also addresses an issue that affects some earbuds. They stop streaming music. And uh, um, the update addresses an issue that affects the recommended section of the start menu. When you right-click a local file, apparently it does not have and behave as expected. So quite a, quite a few improvements rolling out when it comes to the performance of Windows 11 when it comes to some of those key highlights and some other new features that have rolled out which are very similar to what was made available to Windows 10 are that the update adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for endpoints. So that's um, improvements rolling out to Microsoft Defender mainly for uh, businesses and enterprises. And with this update, you can now authenticate across Microsoft Clouds. 
And um, the update improves several simplified Chinese fonts and the Microsoft Pinion Input Method Editor. They now support GB18030-2022. So those three new improvements also rolled out for Windows 10. And then this next one is only for Windows 11 22H2. The update affects virtual memory ranges that are now added to kernel-generated mini dumps after a stop error. So that's basically a blue screen of death uh, fix and improvement that's rolled out. Now, this is a non-secured update. So if you want to stick around just to go through some of the um, bug fix updates and fixes that have rolled out, the update affects the, re the uh, reliability of Windows. It improves after you update the OS. And that's actually an important fix that's rolled out because I have seen one or two comments on the channel this morning that KB5027303 as a whole does improve according to one or two comments, does improve for some users the performance of Windows uh, 11 22H2. So we are getting some performance fixes rolling out with this monthly update. And there are fixes that have rolled out for a narrator. There are two narrator fixes, one for Teams, and another fix that rolled out for Windows 10, also now available for Windows 11. Uh, the update addresses an issue that affects a scheduled monthly task. And there's a a printing spooler fix uh, it addresses an issue that affects the spooler service. It stopped working, and this issue occurred when you print using a certain workspace. And there's also a registry fix that also rolled out for Windows 10. And then um, another file explorer fix. The update addresses an issue that affects the file explorer. It might stop responding indefinitely. So some important performance fixes rolling out for Windows 11 22H2 this month. So if you have um, experienced um, kind of a downgraded or negative performance, uh, sorry, performance when it comes to Windows 11 22H2, just make sure that you apply this update sooner than later. Now, if we just quickly head over to Winver, so we can just get the latest OS build for this update about Windows. Windows 11 22H2 OS build is now bumped up to 2261.1928. So that's more or less what is available for this month with the update KB5027303, which uh, is starting to push out the Moment 3 feature update to more users. So go check that video out down below for, for more info on Moment 3, as mentioned. And then we get those other new features and bug fixes that have been rolled out as part of the June 2023 um, bug fix update for Windows 11 22H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.